granola bars. Yes, we're going to make granola bars. It's going to be great. Anyway, I just wanted to give this update. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. And stay safe. Well, apparently I cut it off too soon, so I'll just keep going. Uh, so yeah, uh, have a great weekend, everybody. And I hope that you all stay safe. God bless. How can it be private when it's been translated into every language? How can it be private when it's been read by billions of people? Because he's a fool, that's why. <laughs> and he sits there and says, oh, this is just, you know, this, this little pastor of this tiny church in Arizona. No, our church is growing every month. Our church is getting bigger and bigger. I think we just baptized six people this morning. You know, and we're about to baptize several more after the service tonight. And he's oh, you know, this tiny little church doesn't understand that Psalms is a very private book between David and God. It's not intended for us to actually read it and believe it and practice it. <laughs> you know, it's like all those private letters to Titus and Philemon that got leaked. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says this, shouldest thou... Help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord. Therefore is wrath upon thee yeah. from the Lord thy God. Yeah. Because Second Chronicles 19.2 says so. Wow, well, Second Chronicles. Look, what other books don't you like? <laughs> well, I just like the New Testament. Okay, you didn't like Romans 1 earlier. You didn't like Jude. You know, it's look, it's all Bible. And you know what? God. God's wrath will come upon you if you help the ungodly and love those who hate the Lord. If you love those who hate the Lord, you're not right with God. You say, well, I love homosexuals. You're not right. You're, you're in violation of scripture. You're committing sin. It's a sin. God is the author of the Old Testament just as much as the New Testament. Yes, yes. Quit denying scripture. I don't care what testament it comes from. It's God's word. Amen. Amen. When I was a child at the Christian bookstore would have books and literature exposing the Catholic Church, warning you about the Catholic Church. Now you go to a Christian bookstore and they have rosary beads, they sell Catholic Bibles, they sell Catholic paraphernalia. What we're seeing is a blurring of the lines between evangelical Christianity and Roman Catholicism. People are being prepared for a one world religion that unites Catholicism, all denominations of Christianity, in fact, all religions of the world. Those who push for a global religious organization believe that all religions, while different on the surface, are each valid pathways to God. Instead of all these different gods, maybe there's one God who manifests himself and reveals himself in different ways to different people. You know, what about that, huh? Do we all worship the same God, Christian and Muslim?